Then sweet horror, so I go hard. I'm a rap star, nigga. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> Let the 
it's my time to let us resound loud and slow and sing, sing a song for love, the hope in the present has taught us. Sing a song, it's about to be a good night tonight. Facing the rising star, I want to day being good. Let us march on to victory is one. The judge is now present, you all may proceed. She all in the midst like a Kool-Aid flavor. Now tell her bitch bow down, I'm in the waiver. Tell her bitch I'm sitting on 200 acres. Get part. Um, I'm snatched and really get into my image and get into my goddamn glow like glow in a goddamn dark bitch. My like lady in a goddamn dark bitch. I'm here and I'm gonna reach out all the back there. Um... Anything that I say in the goddamn video is all what? A legend me or a legend goddamn deep, bitch. Y'all already know. <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And get that on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, and all of those playlists that your husband nor your baby daddy is not motherfucking on. Put that to the side, put the tie there, make sure you so Go ahead and put your goggles on. And goggles. Turn on the lights, I'm looking for a hat. We're gonna go ahead and place this in the front. Hopefully you don't block my view. Let me see. Cause we in school, bitch. Class and session, bitch. I'll pay y'all homage. Let me see. Go ahead and open the first file of the, um, of the night. Oh, and um, by the way, thank you so much for the gift. Um, they, they are very much uh, appreciated. Thank you. Go ahead and open the first case uh, of the night. First, we are on the docket. And also, we are, um, uh, oh, shit, what I did. Cause it's gonna be an issue. We can't get it together. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me a second. My shit, um, loading up. Alright. Yes. Continue to shut down. Yes. First, we have on the docket, we have Juvie, aka Juvenile, aka my baby and my love, and, I, and, and aka Sweet Boy, and I love him down boot, so I'm not gonna really carry on too long on his case and his file. But the people did wanna know, and they did inbox the court his team and his information and what went down over the past weekend with Juvenile. Um, Juvie has been living his best life lately. On Friday night, Juvie was seen live on Vigo taking shots and talking with his fans. Um, <clears throat> fans was encur encouraging him to keep taking shots and all that shot, 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 shot all that fuckery. It was, I want to still hold this in my hand. And, um, <clears throat> but they, they did not know that he was drinking actual alcohol. Come on, oh, we did not know he was really drinking. We thought it was water, apple juice, and all that, cranberry, all that fuck shit. But it was told that he was giving the liquor by an older guy that he was talking to, one of his little boo things, you my boo thing. One of his niggas must have bought him a bottle, allegedly. It was told that he gave him the bottle and left Juvie alone with the bottle, and Juvie damn near drunk the whole entire bottle. I don't know exactly what he was drinking, but he was, he drunk the whole, damn near, the whole bottle. Um, then, during his life, he was throwing up, taking his clothes off, and playing around in his own throw-up. He tried to get into his mother's car, trying to start her car up, but he, he did not have the actual keys. She had to push start, and he was trying to push the engine, and um, it still wouldn't start up. Thank God it didn't. But, he, uh, 
unable to get into the car and unable to drive off with the car. Um, shortly after his life ended, it was told that Kevin Jamal, aka Baldy, aka Uncle, aka Lecky Mora, aka Stuart Little, aka Baldy again. It was told that Kevin decided he was going to chime in and keep on the whole entire situation talking about some. He, um, what is it? Stating in his caption, R.I.P. Juvie, knowing that Juvie is only a 16 year old boy and that Kevin had no respect nor remorse for Juvie. Um, Kevin took the ride with some bald headed Yankee ass hood rat city girl boss, dirty ass bitch, dirty coochie ass thought that he had in his box over that time and then. They both were on live talking hot cash money broke shit, um, and all of that. Go ahead and get into the footage. <laughs> Where's my iPad? We're gonna go ahead and show y'all the footage of Kevin Jamal respond to Juvie. Where's Kevin? Here he is. Somebody checking on Juvie? Girl, somebody needs to go. <laughs> somebody needs to get her some. She needs some milk. <laughs> somebody needs to get that bitch a warm towel for the forehead, one for the throat. Thank God for the gift. Drink some hot tea and eat a lot of bread so it can absorb all the mucus from the throat. You know, somebody just needs to give her a motherfucking peanut butter sandwich, no jelly, so that bitch is extra dry, bitch. <laughs> Bitch, fuck her. And I say what the fuck I said, bitch, and I wish a bitch would check me. And, um, thank you, Trina. And, um, uh, I see her comment down there talking shit. The whole gang is, it costs more than your goddamn phone bill with your pad and Bitch, get into my image and my growth. You see it. Girl, that's what I'm saying. Oh, girl, I didn't do it on social media. I'm very proud girl, of me right either. Now. When I drink, girl, I'm very proud either. I miss, we'll do, like, I have a video of me getting ass shit wasted on my iPad when I was with my ex. But we did that in the privacy of our own house. Hey, boss, Miss Barbie. That was Kevin respond in regards to Juvie uh, throwing up in his, you know, him almost causing himself to hurt himself. Um, the reason why he responded like that, it was told that, I guess when they was talking about Kevin's sister, Kevin, as we all know, Kevin Jamal's sister passed away as well, and um, she was, they were trolling at her and pissing on her grave. So that was Kevin's way of trying to get back at Juvie by ha ha and then killing her ass and that is like that because they were trolling him and his goddamn sister. Thank you, Trina. And all that. I don't want to read really you thinking your ass. Thank you, uh, Trina. Again, thank you, guys. Period. I don't want to have to dig in your ass, Kevin Jamal, because I like you and all, but bitch, you, that was wrong. That's a, that, that's a child. Bitch, that you speaking on. Come on. Congratulations. Girl, you are sick in the goddamn head. But I'm not gonna stand your case too goddamn long. Let me see. Yeah, last but not least, when Joby Joby did take to um, social media to address the allegations that everybody was talking about, talking about all that fuck crown shit. And he also informed viewers that he is okay and that he was not really all the way drunk like that. What he said in the documentation. One. Um, firstly, I want to say, girl, I'm okay. Um, I'm okay. Fuck these comments. Um, I'm okay. Um, for the girls that don't know what's going on, bitch, I'm sure you fucking do. Bitch, it's been all around me, go all fucking day. Um, from what I've heard and what I've been seeing. Um, so basically, um, bitch, your girl, bitch, you know, got fucked up last night. So, let me go ahead and address, um, that whole thing. Um, 
Part two. Yeah, whole thing. Um, so I wanted to get fucked up last night. Well, when I say I want to get fucked up, I wanted to get tipsy, bitch. I just wanted to like, you know, key like, you know, just I wanted to be like on some like, I don't know, like Bowen Steven type shit. You know how like, you know, like how when they be getting drunk, they just be keying and laughing and whoopie whoopie whoop. You know, just giving like that. You know, just tipsy. You know, just cute, cute, cute. Thank you, LB. Thank you, Ken. All right. Oh, uh, that was it. Oh, shit, yeah. That's all they sent to the courthouse. And that was Juby responding in regard to his allegation that everybody had a problem with. Thank you so much, AJ. Thank y'all for the gifts. Thank you so much, Diamond Girl. Yes. Um, that was his response in regards and all of that fuckery. Um... Next, we have on the docket, we have Genova Witness, a.k.a. IRS, a.k.a. Fraudulent, a.k.a. Scammer, City Girl, Trap Girl, Trapaholic, Trap City, all that extra stuff. Genova is next. Genova is currently going through some hard times. It was told that he almost committed suicide this morning because his boyfriend committed suicide last night after he hung himself. Allegedly, Genova was saying how he didn't know how to live without the guy that hung himself and that his, how his life was going to go. So Genova was trying to attempt to take her own life. Oh, hold on. While Genova was on live, he was talking and crying and breaking down real bad, playing around with that gun. And shortly after that, they said a gunshot went off and the live ended. I don't know how true or accurate that might be, but I was not on that live. It happened early in the morning and da 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 And that's what they said in the documentation. It was told. That Mermaid was on the phone with him and contacted his mother as well. Mermaid also contacted the ambulance to send ambulance out to Genova's home. But nobody knew Genova's real name and home address and all that fuckery, it was told. Upon the ambulance arriving to the scene, it was told that it was no blood or no type of, you know, him killing himself or shooting no gun. They said it wasn't nothing, she ain't shoot herself, so thank God she did it. That's what they said, it wasn't none of that. It was also told that Bushi, thank you for the fly, baby. It was also told that Bushi flew out there to be with him and watch him. Genova is now on a 30-day hold in the hospital to be sure he don't hurt himself. That... I guess they got her in the hospital on hold. She's gonna watch for 38 a month. That's what they gave to the court. And, um, thank y'all for that. And that's what I got. Also, with Genova. Genova is claiming that the app is overwhelming and too much for him to handle. He would just, I mean, he just wanted to give it all up and just throw it all away because the dude, I guess him and his boy was close to each other and they had a real relationship going on and Genova is really hurt by that to the point where she wanted to take her own self out. So I guess he helped her out, you know, did a lot for her, I guess, I'm, I'm assuming, and got her where she at, I don't know. Thank y'all so much for the job. Um, and all that other stuff. Mermaid is also claiming that she is now flying out there to be with him as well, to comfort him and all of that, and to also watch him as well. Mermaid also later to, took to live to inform fans that uh, she was hurt, she was like, she couldn't believe her eyes, and she was crying. Here's the footage of Mermaid on a panel, letting y'all know. How that made her feel. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> triggered me. When I heard that gunshot, when I heard that gunshot, it triggered me. Like, I was screaming. My coworkers was like, what's going on? Like, 
<laughs> like this is my real life going on. But it's a, a human being at the end of the day. Yeah. That's hurting. And as mm-hmm. black people, we mental health is a big, 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 big thing for us. Mental health is. is real for us. Because black folks think everything is okay. As y'all saw, Mermaid was up there, thank you, Cold World. Mermaid was up there, and then y'all know what was going on. Thank you, Dale. And regard to his allegations in his case. I mean, in her case. Well, his, both. Um. They didn't really. It was told that JB also was on the phone with Jenova trying to help him out. While other believed that she told Moppy the Mop not to go over there and check on her. Yep. <clears throat> That's what they said. Something about, about JB told Moppy the Mop, bitch, don't go over there. Ain't nothing going on. Da 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 da. It's the floor. And people were saying how that was disrespectful. That's what they said. Shortly after that, Moppy the Mob took a hit tied ass line to address it, talking about she thought it was the storyline and she was keen about it. Talking about the girl love storylines. That's what it was. Let me see. <clears throat> um Far to know for. They they didn't really send no no clip or nothing to the courthouse, but they did just let us know the team in regards to it. So if y'all do have some clip, go ahead and submit it to my my IG right now. Do have something? If not, then we don't have no clip for y'all. No receipts in regards to um the gunshot going off and all that other stuff. We don't get we don't get all that. Let me see. All right. Next, we have on the docket. We have AJ D. Sanders is next on my docket. AJ has been going through more problems every day. He was live last night and he was going off on his viewers because people were saying he scammed the people in their money. It was told that NJ spent his money on haircuts, phones, makeup, etc. He was saying, fuck everyone who sent him money, and y'all should have never sent it if y'all wanted him to buy certain things. Again. Yesterday, he had his co-host, Marche, there to defend him on everything that he was talking about and everything that he was saying. Um, And that's when things started going up, when they both was saying the same thing as, as far as like, y'all should never something if y'all had a problem with it. Y'all should never something if this, this, this. y'all should have did it from the kindness of y'all heart. Those were the things that they were saying to the viewer. All right, honey. And that's what it was told in the documentation. Now, the rabbit hole, thank y'all for the gift. The rabbit hole gets deeper. It was told that Robert did not send AJ five hundred dollars to his cash out like she wanted him to do. Um, thank y'all for that. Uh, I'm sorry, that's kind of distracting. Thank y'all for that. Thank y'all. It was told that Robert did not send AJ five hundred dollars to his cash out. Allegedly, it was told that someone told Robert not to send AJ any money because AJ had already had at least three hundred dollars in his account, his cash out. That's what they said. Um, let me see. I'm sorry, they threw me off. Not having any money. Yeah. Okay. And then Robert only wanted credit and clout in the storyline for his show. People are allowing Robert to play in their face. At first, Robert did not want shit to do with the Facebook girls at all. She was solo dolo. She never got into it with us on Facebook. She never clicked with us. Joined no lie. None of that. It was like, she was like the Caucasian. It was like, we were the black ghetto motherfuckers. And she was just like, yo, yo, yo. But now we on Beagle. She's like, hey, hey, hey. So, go ahead. I just thought I'd just throw that out there. Oh, um, be mindful of that. Everyone is upset with AJ. But they are upset at the wrong person. Everyone should be upset with Robert 
but saying he was going to do something that he knew he was not going to do, all for some goddamn attention. Girl, it was told the reason why Robert did not send to AJ was because AJ didn't call him personally, and Robert's words. Somehow that's why uh Robert, that's what Robert claimed. Talking about her, AJ didn't personally call her. But she didn't, but did Robert personally call AJ to offer the $500? Girl, AJ is currently with his mother and trying to better himself and move on from Black Bay. He is also doing good with himself. He's also doing well and trying to fix up his life. As of yesterday, last night, people wanted, people were all on Savannah Maria Garcia Live, aka Crackhead, aka Coquiana, aka Flippity Flip, Flop, Hollywood Flopper, aka Hollywood Nigga, aka, um, girl, fuck her. On her broadcast yesterday, everybody was up there and people was having concern. And people wanted to know who all cashed out AJ and who, who all helped him. Meanwhile, no one really knows how much AJ really got for real. So through all that bullshit yesterday, that y'all done went through all that fighting, y'all don't even really know how much he really got for real. See, they all go inserting y'all stuff into somebody else's pocket. Y'all always talk about how these bitches pocket watching, but y'all pocket watching. Oh, how much did he get? How much was your big old check? How much is your rent? How much is your phone bill? How much is your surgery? Your pussy? Mm -hmm. How much is that? <sighs> Child. Girl, do we have any clips in regards to um, this case? <clears throat> No, there's no receipts in regard to H.A.T. Sanders. We know that he is doing good and all of that. Thank you so much, H.A.T., for your time. Go ahead and bump it on down to the next docket. Next we have on the docket, we have Cortez, Savannah, and Robert. On it, on it. Cortez, a.k.a. Hot Cheeto, Jerry Curl, Mama Couch, you a baby mama, eh. Baby mama, eh, always with the drama. Just cause he don't want ya. AKA her. AKA, um, girl. Bye, Foco. Good afternoon. Girl, please. Savannah, y'all are the hoods. Robert, AKA Scammer. He's also, girl, IRS as well. AKA still in foreign money. <laughs> okay. The Big Off Streets want to know their show was a fail and it was a flop on the first episode. The start of the show started off bad. It was told that Robert had the time wrong and did not know what time the show actually started. So he tried to push the time up an hour while he danced and shaking his goddamn ass and that goddamn thong sweating goddamn bullet like goddamn dreams. Motherfucker sweated out, sweated out, sweated out of that musty. Not only that, shortly after she was shaking her ass and her goddamn girl. Funky pussy, and was told that uh, sir slipped on some clothes and went out to the club. Didn't even wash her ass. Let me see. Um, yeah. Here's the um video of Robert dancing and popping her ass, trying to get to her six box while the show is going on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. While the show is going on, let me see. <laughs> Where is this video of her shaking and twerking? And no, I already know how to. Oh no, that's no, that's that, that's that checky shit. Oh, thank y'all so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where is this um video? Is it? Here's Robert. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. I had such a good time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, we're having a full performance. He got people waiting for him. I know. I'm sorry. I'm coming right now. I'm sorry. Y'all give me to my six box. We ready. We ready. Okay. 
Woo! Oh, Did y'all enjoy the performance? <laughs> um, all this was going on. All this was going on about the show was finished right at the start. Cause that's why she was pushing me up an hour. Talking about get her a minute. She dancing. She trying to get to her six pop. Not really taking the show serious. Let me think. Uh, meanwhile, Savannah was on live. High as fuck going off about me going live. And about my numbers and my ratings. Claiming that I was trying to take their views. But I wasn't. Bitch, I was going live anyways. That was the whole game. So I guess she blamed me for the reason why the show did not start on time as well. But let me see. Um, so Cortez wound up starting the show without Robert. Once the show started, it was told that Savannah was already causing problems with the guests, such as asking rude questions and pretending to snort coke while she was... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, she was pretending to sm uh, snort coke and laughing at the guests' responses. And it was like, drop Savannah, get her down. She's being unprofessional. She's not doing her job. She's not asking the right questions. She's trying to roast. She's trying to read the girls up out of that. It was just like, she was trying to make some more drama. And people was complaining about that. Let me think. Give me one second. Cortez had no control over his own panel. Robert was out and about with loud music playing in the background, trying to ask questions, pretending to kill once again. That said, Robert really did give two, three, five, six fuck about that goddamn show, for real. He said that show was not really up to his standards. He did not really give two fuck. He was out there partying and drinking and in and out on the panel. She was not there for real. She was not asking no questions for real. She was just acting like she was there to collect all her beans and her coins. Um, when Ebony, aka Blackie, when Ebony was up there, it was told that they were asking her questions mainly about Ashley Shepard. Something about, thank you, Butterfly. Something about it, um, they were not really asking no questions for Ebony. Thank you, Kim. About Ebony, it was all about Ashley. Like, so what did you and Ashley? So how was you and Ashley? Were you and Ashley ever? Ashley? Ashley? It wasn't about Ebony. They said, um, that was rude. Oh, Ebony behalf, because Ebony came there for Ebony. I thought y'all was interviewing Ebony about Ebony. The interviewers had no real question for none, for none of their guests, which showed that they were not prepared. Both Cortez and Savannah were reliant on Robert to take care of all the questions. As we all know, Robert was the only one with, with you know, real legit questions. She was, you know, very professional with the questions. She had those mid, mid, you know, type of questions. They were asking some goofy ass questions. Robert had the brain and the real knowledge to ask some real questions. No tea, no shade. They were calling on Robert to ask the question. <clears throat> In the middle of the show, Robert is a king. In the, in the middle of the show, Robert told them that he was going on a lunch break. But, <laughs> like I said, she didn't care about that show for real. Give her a scoop. She was going on a lunch break, but he came back almost an hour later trying to dodge the show. <laughs> and, when he came, and when he came back, it was told that, oh shit. Uh, it was told that he was not um, asking no questions for real. When 21 Bad Bitch got up there. <sighs> now this is where I'm going to have to kind of like really get child for you. When 21 Bad Bitch got up there, it was told that Robert wanted her dropped and wanted her gone off the panel. So did Savannah as well. They was like, oh, get that crackhead bitch off the panel. She don't got nothing to do with the show. Get her down. Fuck her. All that. So Cortez wound it up dropping her. The reason 
they wanted her to drop was because she was asking Ebony about her roaches and her hair bar and her backdrop. The question was, the question was, Ebony, is your backdrop covering your hair bar to hide all the roaches? And they wanted her to go. <laughs> like I said, they come out, she was being real, I don't know. I thought it was unlimited. I thought we could ask whatever we wanted to ask. So that was the question that 21 wanted to know in regards to Ebony's new hair board and her, and her backdrop and being covered. Go ahead and show the clip of 21. <laughs> Cortez, drop her, drop her, drop her, drop her, drop her. Cortez, drop her. It's about to, nope, 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 we're not doing that. That's not what this is. Yeah. Cameron decided to jump in the bike 
Not only that, JP had mace and it hit Zane eye, gutter eye, and damn that everybody else got their party eyes. After she sprang it. They say Zane started it, talking about she walked up on, what's her name again? Meek, aka Meek Mills. She ran up on Meek because I guess Zane don't fuck with her. Zane claims when he do not fuck with you, he will run up on your ass at any time at any moment. And he cannot hold that in. So he, he had to do what he had to do. As far as running up on me. That's what they said. It was told. Not only that. People people were also saying that they lost the fight against Meek. Due to the fact that Meek got jumped by all of those girls. The JP camera and all them. Jumped her. So they said that they got his ass whooped and not Meek. Yikes. That's what they said. Meanwhile, Gutter said that Zay was eating it. I guess eating it up, fucking it up, and smacking him up. And Zay actually whooped Meek ass. They said, because the security guard pushed Zay down, that's what caused Zay to lose the fight and give Meek an opportunity to knock Zay out some more. So that's what ended up happening. Zay was whooping that ass, and then security guard came in trying to break it up, and Zay fell to the ground, and when Zay hit the ground, that's when Meek and the other girls decided to go ahead and try that. So that's why they're saying that Zay lost the fight because of the security guard. In the documentation, it stated, JB, aka Jerrica, Push Gutter out the way and started slinging and swinging her arm as far as she can and beating motherfucking asses like a goddamn hammer. Do we have the fight? Oh no, we cannot show that fight because we're going to get banned. Nope. Or we, we can't show it. I'm sorry. It's too much going on in regards to that fight. Let me see. But we can show y'all this. They said they only got on a couple of scratches. That's all they said. They said it wasn't nothing but a couple of scratch. It wasn't no real, uh, no real black guy, for real. That's it. Oh, let me think. Oh, here's the video. I scratched the video. Girl, they think you got your hand beat. Hey, Calvin. That? Come on, look at him. Let me see. So they didn't really, really get it in for real. They said Meek ain't really fight for real. She was just kind of like throwing her light punches and whatever. Meek. After all that, Zay told Shay and, and, and his fans that he 